Hey there, awesome physics students. Let's talk about wave reflection at boundaries. Uh, and this, these examples we're going to talk about are for strings, but these ideas transfer really well to other waves like uh, sound waves, for example. So the situation we have for the first example is we have a string that's tied to a ring, and the ring is around a pole, and that ring is allowed, it's free to go up and down at the very end. And so we send an incident wave in here, and what's going to happen here at the when it reaches the end or the boundary is that the ring is going to come up and then come right back down because it's free to move, and that's going to send a wave pulse backwards the other way, a reflected wave that is in phase. In phase is saying that it's right side up compared to the original. Um, let's look at a different example here. This example, the string is fixed or it's tied to a wall and the wall cannot move. So the boundary here is not allowed to move. And what happens when the incident wave comes in here is that the string is stretched upwards like this. When it reaches the wall, the string pulls up on the wall. The wall then pulls back down with an equal and opposite force on the string. And the reflected wave then will be upside down compared to the original. Or the phrase we use for this is out of phase with compared to the original. And both of these situations feature a boundary um, and these things are called boundary conditions. So anytime you have a boundary or a boundary condition, you usually will get some kind of reflected wave. Now let's look at some other examples that are very similar to this. In this first case, we have a, a, a very massive string with a large uh, linear density, mu, and we have an incident wave coming through and it's tied to a less massive string. So what happens when it reaches the boundary here where the two strings are tied together. Well, the, some of the wave in this case is going to transmit through. Uh, what happens though is that the speed is much larger. Um, and so uh, what's going to happen when this wave pulse travels through is it's going to speed up and so it's going to spread out as it goes through that boundary. And so the wave pulse is going to be a lot bigger. Um, the speed is higher. Uh, this spreading out the effect of that is that a wavelength is, wavelength is bigger, but the frequency is going to be the same as it was before. The frequency is determined by the oscillations of the source. Now what happens at the, um, for the, uh, at the boundary for this? This is kind of like the free end, right? This is more free to move in. It doesn't hardly notice this other string because it's so massive. And so the reflected wave here, which is going to have a smaller amplitude than the original, is going to be the same wavelength um, and it's going to uh, be right side up or in phase just like the original. Um, what happens in this example where you have a very, uh, we, where you switch this, where you have a, a less massive string with an incident wave, what happens at the boundary when it encounters a more massive uh, uh, string? And so uh, let's talk about the, the, the transmitted wave first. Um, the, wave speed is going to decrease and because of the larger mass density. And so what's going to happen is as it decreases, that wave pulse is going to bunch up when it reaches the boundary. And so you're going to get a shorter wavelength here. So the wavelength is also going to have decreased. Um, but again, the frequency is determined by the oscillations of the source. So the frequency will not have changed. Now what happens at the reflection because of this? Well, because this is very similar to the situation here with the wall, um, the strings will put an equal and opposite force on each other, but this one has a much smaller mass, and so that's going to feel the effects of that to a greater degree, and that it's going to cause a reflected wave that comes back out of phase with respect to the original incident wave. Okay, so these are some examples of what happens at boundaries. In general, these things, the conditions that occur at the boundaries are, will dictate what happens with the reflected and incident waves and what, ha what changes and what stays the same.